3x lex 3x lex 3x to the lex all right i'm here today to talk to you guys a little bit about pricing now i know since i dropped the prices a couple weeks ago the preliminary pricing for what i was looking to get for these cabinets is caused a sp a big spark of conversation, a, a bit of controversy. A lot of people had a lot of opinions. A lot of people interestingly thought it was way overpriced. I found that to be interesting. So I guess my question to you guys would be this. I would like to know what specifically pricing and package wise are you guys looking for are you looking for more cabinets on the lower end of things performance wise or on the higher end of things performance wise now naturally on the higher end of performance wise is a cost associated with that the lower end there's a lower cost associated with that are you more specifically looking for smaller images smaller builds lower power hardware that can just play games up to say psp full speed with, with smaller images maybe 256 maybe 128 how much are you willing to sacrifice to have a lower price arcade cabinet that's what i'm willing that's what i want to know how much are you willing to sacrifice to have a lower price arcade cabinet? Are you willing to accept a much smaller build and image of say 256 gigabytes, uh, only up to PSP, no 3D main games? Are you, are you in the market for something like that? Does that fit your price range a little bit better? If something like that could be implemented at an extremely affordable price, like what exactly are you guys looking to get for the money that's being spent? How much money do you have to spend specifically for this hobby? I think I touched on this a little bit before, but that was kind of before the preliminary pricing dropped. And um, I noticed a lot of people said in the two to three range, but when the pricing got announced, that seemed to kind of go out of the window. I don't know what everybody's expectations was of expecting uh, a $799 cab or $899 cab. I'm not sure like what you guys were <laughs> expecting. But I'll be interested in hearing what your thoughts is about that. I'm going to also throw up a poll. Drop all your comments below, but I'm going to throw up on a poll on the community tab. I want to know specifically, are you looking to get a lower power, smaller build system with less games, uh, less performance, as long as the price is affordable and it's a big playable cab? Is that what you're looking for at the lowest price possible? Or are you really looking to get something more on the mid to upper higher level price range and you're not and you don't mind spending any money, much more money for it, is what I'm trying to say. You don't mind spending money for it. So, that's what I would like to know. Simply put, would you like more options on the lower end of things? Meaning, uh, lower end hardware, smaller builds, less games, but more affordable pricing? Or are you looking for the max amount of flexibility and hardware performance and you don't mind paying the price. That's what I wanna know specifically. So that's the question to be clear. I'm gonna restate it one more time just to be clear with you guys. The question simply is this, are you looking for more options on the lower end of things on to make the cabinet as affordable as possible? Like lower, lower quality hardware smaller bills with less games at the most affordable price or are you looking for something in the mid to upper level of things and you don't mind paying for that 
What specifically are you looking for? Answer that question below, and I'm also going to uh, drop something on the community tab. I'm going to drop a poll, and I want you to vote on that too. Hey guys, 3X to the Lex out. Thank you for all your support and your opinions. More updates are coming soon. 3X Lex out. Peace.